सो विल स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर अलेवन ऑन द स्लाइड ठीक है क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू टेन तो हो गया था अब क्वेश्चन नंबर अलेवन टू थर्टीन दे हैव द सेम हेडिंग वी नीड टू हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड द मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द कम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स गिवन इन द एक्सरसाइज अलेवन टू थर्टीन ठीक है सो कम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स दे के रखें एंड हमने क्या निकालना है उनके इनवर्स निकाल लेने मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ठीक है सो क्वेश्चन नंबर अलेवन से स्टार्ट करते हैं वी विल जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर अलेवन हेयर एंड कलर ले लेता हूँ रेड ठीक है सो विल जस्ट लेट जेड बी द कम्प्लेक्स नंबर फोर माइनस थ्री एट देन हमें पता है देन जेड इनवर्स दैट इज द मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ जेड इज गिवन टू बी वन अपन जेड but uh, this is true when z is not zero that means ki zero complex number ka koi multiplicative inverse hota nahi theek hai so if uh, the z is this uh, 4 minus 3 uh, iota, iota then we can just write this as 4 minus 3 iota okay now what we will do is we will multiply and divide by conjugate of z that is 4 plus 3 iota upon 4 minus 3 iota done now 1 into 4 plus 3 iota will be 4 plus 3 iota and 4 minus 3 iota it is plus here sorry it's plus 4 minus 3 iota 4 plus 3 iota you can just use the concept of a square minus b square because it's a plus b a minus b okay now this thing will be equal to 4 plus 3 iota upon 16 plus 9 iota square to negative aega so you will get this 3 ka square 9 iota ka square negative 1 so isko positive banega then we will get this so we will get a 4 plus 3 iota upon 25 so we can just write it as 4 upon 25 plus 3 upon 25 is the multiplicative inverse of this uh, complex number z equal to 4 minus 3 iota done Now let's come to the twelfth uh, ones for twelve. I will just erase it here. Let's go up again. There, man. Then same way we will uh, take of uh, 12 and uh, 13 ठीक okay so uh, let me take a different color now Let's take blue one so for 12 let z be equal to under root 5 plus 3 iota then z inverse that is the multiplicative inverse of this complex number will be 1 upon z now 1 upon z you can just write under root of 5 plus iota we'll again do this thing we'll multiply and divide by conjugate of z so you get under root 5 minus 3 iota here so in the numerator you will get under root of 5 minus 3 iota and under root 5 plus 3 iota under root 5 minus 3 iota you will get under root 5 whole square 
minus 3 iota whole square okay so this is under root of 5 uh, minus 3 iota upon this is 5 and this will be 9 so that way you can just write under root of 5 minus 3 iota upon 14 or the final multiplicative inverse of this complex number will be under root 5 upon 14 3 upon 14 and out that's it okay that's uh, question 12 and now let me take 13 here uh, 13 and I change the color take the black now uh, let's take 13 again you will let z to be its negative iota then uh, the z inverse that is the multiplicative inverse of z will be 1 upon z which will be equal to 1 upon negative iota which is negative 1 upon iota here you can just multiply by iota divide by iota okay no need to just take negative or you can just do that as well okay wo bhi kar sakte ho negative iota negative iota that won't uh, make any difference here so uh, ye negative iota aega upar aya pe aega iota square now you know that it is negative iota and iota square is negative 1 so the final answer is iota so z inverse is iota so that means ki iota is the multiplicative inverse of negative iota and that's it in the next slide we'll take the last question with this